you can sell this to the customers or maybe for you or your office or whatever so here we are going to do like kind of unboxing so you can see how to protect your stuff so here I bought this for myself so nobody sent it to me I mean nobody gave it to me for free so this is what we are going to see now we are going to change a little bit of with the monitor with the other camera so we're going to zoom out so you can see better so this is the the product is a pc and the model is p11 vt3 so as you can see for dry location indoor use only so that is what you are going to to use it for no nothing else so if you, if you want to protect your computer here, as you can see, you can uh, connect the coaxial cable. You can connect 11 outlets, so that is great. Um, what else? Uh, okay, something that, that I said before, the network and coax uh, line protection and is uh, life product uh, warranty, so lifetime product warranty. So uh, it's, it's very cheap, it's ar around 24 dollars so I'm going to explain you a little bit uh, everything that you see here so we are going to make a zoom in so you can see uh, from close uh, what is this it what is each port for so here as you can see here is the coaxial uh, cable here is what you are going to connect so what whatever it comes from your provider for instance um, Time Warner, so here in this case I have Time Warner, so you're going to connect it here and no, I'm sorry, here you're going to connect it where you said in and out, out where it said equipment, you're going to connect your cable model. So if you have a cable model and you want to protect it, you have something like that. So this is what you're going to use. As you can see on the in this side, this part, you're going to connect where it says equipment. So that is what you're going to use in this in this case. And also if you have maybe DSL and you want to protect your equipment, you can do the same thing where it says in, you, you connect the telco and in the other two you can connect the, the cable, the, not the cable modem, but the, the modem that uh, you bought or, is, uh, or someone gave it to you or whatever is provided by the company. So here you have two ports, you have two ports because it's a split mode. So you can connect maybe the phone here and here the, the modem. So that is how it works. And here in case you, you have a cable modem, you're going to use these two and you can use this. In, in this case, you can use it as well, but uh, I don't want to confuse you. So uh, here is the coaxial cable, uh, here for the line and here for the modem. If you want to do like an extra protection, uh, you can uh, put here the cable, the cable modem, the the output of the RC45. So this one that you, that you can see here, you're going to connect it here. I mean, yeah, from here to here and here to the router that you may have. Or, or if, if you're not using anything, you can use the, the you can connect the computer itself. So that is pr uh, pretty simple. Here, the good thing, I don't know if you have uh, children or, or maybe a little a small kid, uh, so, and you want pro to protect them, you can move this uh, like that. Uh, it says for dust, but I think for kids it might work. I mean, if you don't want them to electrocute themselves, you can uh, move them that way. So that is a, a nice thing. Also, another thing we're going to see here, the, um, the LED light. Uh, the first one, it means that it's working properly. So that is a good thing. And here where it says overload, it means that you're uh, connecting maybe something else like uh, a washer machine or vacuum cleaner or something like that. This is for computers. Uh, that is why you, ha you have to pay attention. So remember, don't use more than the, than the number that it says here, 3,020 joules. So you, if you want, you have to convert it to amps or watts. Watts, usually watts is, uh, is what you're going to see in the product that they use um, 
x amount of watts. Uh, here, this is very important. So if you uh, have some problems that the, with the wiring, maybe the poles are inverse or something like that, or you don't have the ground here, no, no, in this product, but you know, I'm, I'm talking about in the outlet. So that is what is, is telling you. So in the manuals, in the instructions, it says call the, the electrician. Uh, with this, uh, oh, it's, I mean, you print, you turn it in. I mean, you turn it on, off. Uh, that's it. I mean, this is pretty simple, but pretty uh, straightforward. Um, the, in the other side. You can connect it to the to the wall or maybe to the, your desktop in the in the back of the, the desk. So, so if you don't want it to be on the floor, so that way you don't have a lot of cables uh, laying, laying around. And basically, that that's it. I mean, here there is it says the almost the the same thing. So if you have any any question, you can leave me a, a comment in the section below. And um, remember, this kind of things is to, pro uh, to protect and prevent. So it's better if you can prevent, uh, otherwise if there is a, a storm or something like that, it might damage all your electronic uh, components. So like I said before, if you have any question, leave me a comment in the section below. Also, you can go to the forum or if you want to see all my other uh, computer classes, you can go to the playlist. Uh, see you next time.